We're going to talk about what happened yesterday in Las Vegas. And the result to be, I don't give a damn. I'm not freaking out over one preseason game. But we will assess what we saw from Trey Lance. We will assess what we saw from Sam Darnold. And right now, i got to say, Shasky, Trey Lance doesn't look like a starting NFL quarterback. And we could break it all down. We could blame the offensive line. We could blame the lack of game plan. We could blame the pressure. Trey Lance right now does not look ready. And I don't know how much time the Niners have to wait on Trey Lance to be ready. All right? I I, I just, what I saw, and we'll break it all down. We'll break every single throw down. We'll break shed ahead down. We'll play the sound. All that stuff. But uh, looking at Trey Lance, I was a little disappointed yesterday in Las Vegas. What what parts? Because I'll I'll get to mine in a second. Holding the ball. Uh Hesitations. Progressions. Kind of a deer to headlights look. Look, I know the offensive line is not starting. That's a second string offensive line. The most second string offensive lines is not good at all. But you know what? He's late on a couple things. He's not seeing it as well. And so when you look at the numbers and they look a little inflated because of what happened yesterday, I just don't see a guy who has had enough reps. He doesn't have enough experience. I'm not saying he can't be a good quarterback. But right away, you can see that the guy needs to play. And I don't know if that playing time is available here in the preseason or the regular season. Brock's your starter. Darnold's battling with QB, too. Brandon Allen has been around this league for a long time, even though I don't think he's any good at all. Trey Lance, kind of like James Wiseman, just needs to play. And I don't know if that playing time is ever going to be available here in San Francisco. I don't know, man. I I think it's... There's a couple of things here. Like I'm looking at what I saw yesterday. Like he did not look good yesterday. To your point on holding the ball, not anticipating, just simple three step drops. Like I know everyone wanted him to throw that that first, the very first play, but it looked like to me the cornerback was going to jump the route and, and pick it. And so he tries to hold on to it. Maybe he should, you know, get rid of it quicker. Blah blah blah. I mean. It just reminded me a lot of Alex Smith, and what I mean by that in Alex Smith is that I felt like there was a guy out there who understood the amount of pressure that was on every single throw, and instead of just playing football, he was so worried about making a mistake. You could feel the amount of, like, ah, ah, I want to get rid of it, but I'm gun shy. And, you know, you want to call it looking statuesque or robotic or slow to process. I'll listen to all those things. It didn't look great. Uh, I thought it got better as it went on, though. He made a couple of nice throws, got away with one in the in the red zone. I, to me, honestly, the most encouraging throw, because I haven't been able to see him do this, was when he was scrambling to his right, I believe, going toward the line of scrimmage, and he did like a little flip pass. Like, changing arm angles Improv. is something we haven't seen at all from him. And that's just a small little play. He ripped a really nice throw downfield. But, yeah, he didn't look good yesterday. There's no doubt about it. But I also watched Russell Wilson the night before or whatever, two nights before. And, and Russ is a 10-year vet and some would say a Hall of Famer. And, and he looked horrific. Now, there's obviously levels to it. So I don't know how much to, to pull from it. All we have are these games, especially for someone like Trey Lance. There's so little data to point to, so little, like, film to point to. I would have liked to see seen them run the ball a little, you know, well, get them feeling comfortable. Well, I, I saw a lot of that yesterday on Twitter. And God bless everybody, man, for taking this preseason game so seriously. I didn't know practice I would take seriously. Shanahan kind of told us all that the joint practices were – he's looking more forward to that than the actual game. Now, when it comes to all this preseason stuff and we're talking about Russell Wilson, yeah, he looks shaky, but he's but been he's in the league Ru- for but 10 years. But he's Russ. He's been body in the league of for work. 10 years. Yeah, exactly. Been in the league for 10 years. Exactly. So, you know what? He he got better and better, but he also almost threw a pick to start the two-minute drill. Threw it right to the zone <laughs> where there was two guys opening the window to the right. You're thinking, Trey, just look a little to the right. Yes. You look – you're – Looking down at your right receiver, you're looking him down, you're staring him down, you're staring him down, you're staring him down, and the robbers, the middle linebackers who are floating underneath trying to take away the drag routes, they're sitting on it. So, look, man, I didn't see anticipation. Uh, I saw a guy who was worried about the rush. Um, that's the first un- down that's throw, undeniable. Look, the first down throw, the first play of the game, he got sacked on that play. The out route was going to get picked. There's no doubt about that. The out route would have got picked. However... Short base is right there. That little just check it down real quick. Boop, boop. You see how many times you see the great ones do that? How many times you see NFL quarterbacks do that? Boop, 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 boop. So when it comes to play calling, because I also saw this. Trey Lance, 20 passes, seven runs. Going into that game, what did you want to see from Trey Lance? Honestly. Well, I I, say, I, I can tell you what I wanted uh, to see. Okay. Yeah. I wanted to see him throw the ball. I wanted to see his new mechanics. Okay. I wanted to see him progress. I wanted to see him anticipate. I don't give a damn about the ready game right now. I know the ready game's going to be there when the regular season happens. I want to see him throw the football. 
That's what I want to see. So now we're complaining about the ballots well, no, of the time office? Out. Time out. What time are we out. doing here? Well, I'll tell you what I'm doing. That's the same thing when Greg Roman was running out there with Kaepernick or or whether it's Jimmy Garoppolo. Like, I, me personally, the way Josh McDaniels handled things, that's the way I like setting up games. I don't care what week it is. Like, hand the ball off a couple times. Let's start with some short little dumpable passes. Let's see the ball not hit the ground. Let's go from there, right? And I know that that's what they're trying to do on the first play, but that's the way I like to see things run. I don't care what it is. Nothing is worse. I mean, Greg Roman was notorious for this, and this is a preseason game, so it's not the same. But, hey, Kaepernick, first play of the game, throw a 22-yard out. Let's start there. And then it's right. like, whoa, Whoa, can can we can we dump a couple off and feel good about ourselves in this offense more than any other? Hey, quick little hitters, get a nice little simple completion and and keep it rolling. You want your quarterback to feel confident, right? And so, I don't know. I just I think How taking the a sack on the first play set them behind the down and distance for the entire right. drive. And that kind of screwed things up. No, it did. But how how the offensive line look with Sam Darnold? It looked a little better. Yeah, it looked a little yeah, better. Sam Darnold looked a little more decisive. But, but he That's also undeniable. was a lot more decisive. You I know? thought Sam Darnold was a lot more decisive. Now, does that mean Sam Darnold's going to be any good? No, not at all. I look at that first down play. Trey Lance did a good job of holding on to the ball, not throwing the out route. But you got to quickly check it down and throw that thing away. You know it's a short three-step drop back. The offensive lineman knows it's a short three-step drop back. you got to create time for this guy, all right? But you also have to be decisive. Trey was not decisive. The third down play. He was in, indecisive. You got to hit Ross Dwelly there on the out route for the first down. Yeah, I agree. You have to hit that play. You had to lay up. He didn't take it. Didn't take it. Now, the second play of that drive, look, he looked deep. He looked deep. He checked down Dwelly. Cool. You got the yardage back. Third down, you're indecisive. You got to put the football. Okay? Like, I, I just, even on that second possession, when he rode out right, I'm like, Trey looks stiff. He doesn't look elusive. But did you expect him to light it up? No, I didn't expect him to line it up. I expected him to be a lot better. I expected him to be decisive. I expected him to not hold on to the football. I expected him to see some more elusiveness. Instead, I saw a guy who was still kind of unsure of himself. Well, he looked like and a I'm guy saying, who hadn't played since yeah, last and I, exactly. September. And so, with that point, with that point, with him missing layups, with him holding on to the football, with him looking indecisive, one thing about Purdy, he looked decisive. One thing about Darnold yesterday, he looked decisive. All right? The Niners don't have time to work out the kinks for Trey Lance this season. They just don't have time. They don't. I'm sorry. So what are you saying? What I'm saying is this guy looked like third stringer yesterday. And I can't believe I'm saying that. Well, we didn't see the first stringer, and we haven't been able to see practice. Well, the first stringer's going to start. No, no, I'm, but I'm saying, like, we're saying what the first stringer is. Like, he looked great last year. He's coming off a major injury, and we haven't seen him. And it feels like at practice, just from the reports that we're seeing, it's a lot of up and down, right? And so right. I just think their quarterback position as a whole isn't as good as everyone thinks it is. 888-957-9570. How are we feeling this Monday morning after the first preseason game of the year? Obviously, there's going to be a lot of focus on Trey Lance. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of focus on Sam Darnold. The result of the football game, yeah, it sucked, but I... This has no bearing on a regular season. I, I'm really you know, surprised how, like, uh, you you seem really, really, really down on Trey Lance. Not really down. We're just assessing what we saw. There was some good with Trey Lance, uh -huh. but these numbers are deceiving. Well, no, I, the numbers 15, are irrelevant. 112 yeah, the yards. Number, you want to come yeah. at me with quarterback rating, no, 111 no, 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 no. quarterback rating? No. The touchdown pass he threw should have been picked off. Oh, for sure. Now, Shanahan defended it, said there was a little window there, but it was a little late. Personally... On the touchdown throw, I'm not going to complain over touchdowns, but it should have been an interception. Let's be real. Of course. That was a lucky play. Just like the same way we talk about Brandon Allen's throw to right. Ronnie Bell should not have been an interception. No, Ronnie Bell's got to catch that ball. No doubt. There's no doubt. Um, so so you got that. You got that. Trey Lance, I would like to see him make a move on that defender there on the perimeter. One-on-one, -on -one, instead of throwing back over the middle of the field while rolling to your left, where you still got safeties and stuff flowing all over the place, I thought it was just a quick window. Okay, he tried to rip it. It almost got picked off. I would have liked to see him make a move there on the defender. So these numbers are inflated. He got sacked four times. Is all that his fault? No. But on one of them, uh, uh, on one of the plays, not the third series, it was the fifth series. He rolls out. He rolls out to his left. Conley makes an out route. It's a timing route, right? Mm -hmm. This offense is based on precision, timing, all mm -hmm. that stuff. Conley hits an out route. I'm like, man, Trey, rip it. Instead, he's a little unsure of himself. Nah, do I want to throw it? Do I not want to throw it? He takes the sack. That's what I'm talking about there. I wanted to see that stuff out of there. I wanted to see a quarterback who looked pro ready. I wanted to see a quarterback who could, who could move around, be decisive, get rid of the ball. Instead, I saw a guy who was unsure of himself, 
Again, he hasn't played a lot of football. I get that. But how confident would you feel going into week one knowing that Trey Lance hasn't played a lot of football? That, that, I don't feel no good one would about be that confident. Right no one would be confident. And I don't think a lot of people would be, as much as people are going to say, like, wow, Darnold looked much better. And he did, did look much better. Ain't O'Connell as a rookie. What's that? Ain't O'Connell as a rookie. Yeah, because he was able to run the ball a little effectively early no, on, and it felt on, like it Shasky. opened up the pocket. Shasky. Like, I actually that thought that looked... Josh McDaniel did a better job getting his guy ready to go. And yeah, Aiden Shasky. O'Connell did Come look on, better. Keep it a buck. What? O'Connell looked calm, cool, and collected in the pocket. They were also running the ball on first down okay. down their throat, right. and you're I'm, able to run a little okay. play action. It doesn't matter. When you run a pass, play, and you don't look comfortable in the pocket, okay. that says a lot about your I, running look, game I, or I'm not, not running look, game. This is what I'm not going right, to do. See, I'm like, not going to pick apart the kids. He had like five drives yesterday. It didn't look great, but I'm also not going to make sweeping condemnations nobody, on, nobody what, on what he is or isn't or what Aiden O'Connell is. This is all we I, have. I, I liked Aiden I'm O'Connell. You, I, I me, kept saying you, it. You're telling me what, I, what I'm liking. What I'm liking here. I'm obsessed the game. What I saw. He had a really lies. nice throw to Conley downfield. He had another nice throw to Fumagalli. Was there more bad than good with Trey Lance? Yeah, yesterday wasn't good. But I would also say that about the entire team. He They're, can't afford that, though, right now, Shasky. Well, they also Trey Lance can't, can't afford to be poor. If he wants to stay on his football well, team, he's, he's got to be balling out. Okay, well, he's not QB2 I, right I now. I also can't what I have saw. my kicker you know, shanking two kicks when I traded up for him in the third round. Like, There's a lot of issues on this team. Trey looks slow to process. What? He looks slow to process. I hate saying that. He looked slow to process yesterday. He I, I looked just, hesitant. I mean, he held on to the football. He looked stiff. I don't think it's and the end of the all, world. It's not the end of the world. I don't but for Trey Lance, this is everything. He is battling for his 49th career. You really think, after watching this O-line, that they're going to keep one quarterback healthy for 17 games? This was the second streak offensive line. I don't line. care what. Uh, B. In a, in a better world, they wouldn't even play. So you're it's already you're, 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 you're already the sky is no, falling. I'm not saying the sky is falling. Okay. I'm not saying that so at then all. So what are we saying? What I'm saying is he has this opportunity uh-huh. to seize the moment and take over that QB two job. Did he do that yesterday? No, he got the entire first half. No, but he's also had a couple of weeks leading up to this. And yes, these, this game is all the fans have seen. But there's more data that they're pulling from than just this game. All right. All right. And I'm not here to say that he looked good. He didn't look good. But it's also, it's not the end of the world, for but crying for, out loud. It's not the end of the world. But for Trey Lance, he is competing for his ass. So then do you think that he needs off. to be moved? No, I'm not saying that. I'm, I didn't say that at all. So then what what do you, I don't get is, what you're saying. You're saying yeah, he's going to be QB3? Exactly, no, I'm saying yes, as of right now, yeah. for what I saw yesterday, okay. Donald looked more ready than Trey Lance. Yeah, did he not? I, I don't think, yes, he did. He looked and better. All these A couple of Trey, really nice throws. And you cannot tell me that all these reps for Trey Lance don't matter. They, they, they matter for everybody, but yes, matters. of course they matter for it's him. It's unfortunate he shouldn't be in this spot, uh-huh. but he's in this spot because of what Brock Purdy did last season. And so he's coming in already as the backup quarterback. The smoke screen, you cannot deny what Michael Silver has wrote. You can say what you want about Michael Silver. Did the 49ers take calls on Trey Lance in the spring? All sides point to yes, they did. Well, Yes, but, they did, right? But, but, they but, tried but, to trade No him. one's trading for that guy. I, like, I don't know what you want me to say. No one is trading okay, for him okay, right so now. Okay, so I'm not saying that either. Okay, but the, like... What I'm saying is the 49ers tried to trade this guy, yeah. which tells you that, boy, they lost a little belief in the guy. Of course they lost belief in him. He can't even hit a hitch route That's on a three-step drop. So you're making my point. No, the point you're is this. The point. point is this. The point is he this. He did not seize that moment yesterday. He looked damn near I don't scared. Think, I don't, even if he had went 15 of 17, I don't think he's I don't think he's seizing any Lance moment. If went 15 to 17, we'd be feeling a lot better about yeah, him. Yeah, he'd be QB2 in most people's eyes. Great. QB wins on the sidelines, and that's what's most important right now for this team. Debo's on the sidelines. Ayuk's on the sideline. CMC's on the sideline. Trent Williams on the sideline. What it... To me, if you want to talk Trey Lance, because to me he's like the afterthought when it comes to the team itself, is holy moly, does this team need the two first-round picks that they moved to go get Trey Lance? They could use that to spread around on the overall depth of the team. That's my bigger takeaway. Well, well, my big takeaway is... Yes, stay whiffed on the number three overall pick if they do move off of him. Well, I, hope I think not. I think as of right I now they have not. whiffed on it. Yeah, and that's a bad thing. I mean, I, I've kind of come thing. to that conclusion. I, I just I just saw a quarterback who is not looking, who did not look like he was capable of starting an NFL football game in a regular season. That's just what I saw yesterday. Of all the quarterbacks, well, I, I mean, a, a year ago, a year ago, just to be fair, a year ago I would have said the same thing about Brock Purdy. And, and look where have. we are now. Absolutely. So uh, that doesn't mean that his career is over or that Trey's But for that. right now, it does I, look I, terrible. I did not say that. I just said yesterday he looked awful. And I was disappointed. I was very disappointed in Trey Lance yesterday. I didn't say anything else. 
Don't put words in my mouth. I'm not saying the sky is falling. What we have off yesterday, data yesterday in Las Vegas, what I saw in that first half, six drives, I not see a quarterback capable of starting an NFL football yeah. game for a simple word contender. It's, That's it's, what I saw. I saw a team that looked like they took a week off in Vegas and didn't care at all. That's what it felt like to me. And all the practice games rolled over into the regular game, and they're very top-heavy, which I acknowledge. And we so, don't even know because the media was 100 yards away from the practice fields. Did that look like a team that was like gearing up, ready to go? No, it's a preseason game, and people are going to dismiss it. But like... This team feels themselves, and they're very top-heavy, and so I'm very worried about their this. overall depth. Did any one of the 22 starters play yesterday for the 49ers? Oh, yeah, because I think the guy on Cleveland Farrell might actually start opposite Nick oh, Bosa. Oh, okay, so one. So one guy. I mean, you're asking, one and guy, I'm okay, telling one you. Guy. Like, well, and how did Cleveland Farrell look? That he looked, looked all right. right. Yeah, he looked exactly. all right. But, so, but, but again. But my point is, one of 22 starters and, and, play and yesterday. And also Moody, who's <laughs> supposed to be your, your kicker, and he shanked two kicks. So let's cut him too. No, I'm uh, just saying. Like, <laughs> nothing, what else looked good? Like, Graham looked pretty good at linebacker. I thought yeah. Brown looked all right at safety. I, I thought, thought uh, Sammy yeah. Womack made a really nice play. Yeah. Got burned on another play. I like, thought Sam there's Dart not a lot of good. I thought Sam Darnold looked good. Yeah, he had two really nice throws. I agree with I that. Thought he had three nice throws. Five of eight yesterday. Eighty-four yards. By